Hello everybody out there. Chris here. Wanted to make a video because it's been a couple weeks. We have been running around sports parks, baseball, practice, flag football, tennis, you name it. But one of the things that we've also been doing is continuing to build our collection. So we've gotten some cool stuff, some through the mail, some through private signings over the last couple weeks. I'm going to flip this camera around, show those things off in a minute. Um, kind of the biggest things uh, I've seen, I noticed that Mill Creek Sports announced they're doing a clinic, uh, Jerry Clinic and Julio Rodriguez signing. Uh, there's mail-in possibility available for that, so check it out, Mill Creek Sports. Uh, while Keisha Sports Cards is doing a George Brett signing, so that's, uh, that's a guy who doesn't sign uh, very often these days. It's a little pricey, um, but if you're a big George Brett fan, uh, maybe now's the time. Uh, things are going to be due fairly soon. And I think Pittsburgh card show's coming up, and I noticed uh, several Hall of Famers there. Um, I believe Molitor's there, Yvonne Rodriguez, some others. So um, that's worth investigating um, if, you, if you want to add some of those guys to your collection. But without further ado, I'm gonna flip this around and uh, get to showing off some cool cards. All right, we're going to start with a pretty hot prospect at this time, Bobby Witt Jr., son of Bobby Witt, who was a, a great pitcher for the Rangers. Uh, broke into the big leagues at a young age uh, as well and had a really good career. He um, also brought us Bobby Witt Jr. So Bobby Witt Jr. is, by all accounts, a, a potential future superstar. And if you look at a guy like Mike Trout, who really doesn't sign, he doesn't sign cards anymore. And uh, there's a few others. I mean, some of those guys, once they hit superstardom, their cards just shoot through the roof and their autographs, likewise, shoot through the roof. Bobby Witt Jr. is not quite there yet. Uh, I feel like it's coming, uh, but he has the uh, potential to be a superstar. Had the opportunity to go ahead and, and add his autograph to our collection on his rookie card, and had to take it. Uh, I don't I don't spend a lot of money on on younger players, but there's a few. Um, I mentioned you know Julio Rodriguez, Jerry Kalanick. Um, some of those guys I feel like now is the time to kind of add those to the collection, and so. Happy to add some Bobby Witt Jr. there. Next, I've got some uh, through the mail signings, and then I've got a couple big uh, big cards that we got through private signings. So this was uh, Andre Dawson's 1983 Tops. Beautiful card, beautiful autograph. He is a tremendous signer through the mail. Um, you know, we're working on his player era card run, and we're making really good progress uh, a few at a time. So this is 1983 Tops, beautiful signature. And then this is his 1995 Tops in that Florida Marlins uniform. So pretty cool. You don't really think of Dawson as a Florida Marlin. Um, I, I'd like to, th I think of him as a Cub. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people who think of him uh, with his days in Montreal. So great signer, beautiful autograph. Another great signer through the mail, Jim Palmer, great pitcher. Pitched his entire career for the Orioles. This is his 1970 Tops. Um, just big, bold signature. Uh, I love it. Um, this is not only an iconic year, but like I said, Hall of Fame player. Uh, very uh, fan friendly, very accessible through the mail. So grateful to add that one, as well as Jim Palmer's 1984 Tops. This is his last Tops card. Um, so kind of cool. I kind of collect those as well. I love the first, the rookie card and the, and the last tops card are uh, two cards I, I really seek after, uh, particularly in a Hall of Fame player. So glad to add that. Another big, bold, beautiful signature from Jim Palmer. Here's a big one. I say big, and it's a Hall of Famer, and it's his rookie. Jim Rice, he's a great signer through the mail. Um, this is his 1975 tops rookie card. He, um, right down here, I love it when they sign. I don't ever mind it if someone signs kind of big, but I guess it's probably more of a respect thing than anything. So happy to add uh, that to the collection. Rice signs, $20 a pop through the mail. And uh, so we had that one and also sent him uh, the 1979 Tops. This is not a very well-centered card, but I like the smile. Um, so this is a card that I thought, you know, it's got the all-star banner down here. Um, it's got the good old school logo Tops. Uh, I like the smile a lot, so that's why I sent the 1979 Tops, and uh, we'll continue working on our Jim Rice collection. Another through the mail signing, um, I say signing, but 
is Gaylord Perry. And uh, of course, you know, he is a, he's a good signer. He lives down in um, South Carolina. It's hard to see that autograph. I'm trying to get it in the light there. Um, so that's the only unfortunate part, but he, uh, he returned this. It took him a few weeks maybe, but uh, 1964 tops. I did, I, I love 1964 tops. I uh, just absolutely love it. And um, yeah, it may be one of my favorites, uh, if not my favorite, but I wanted uh, Perry's autograph on this card. It's kind of hard to find. Um, so glad to add it to the collection. Um, here is Nolan Ryan, 1983 tops. So Nolan signs through his foundation. Um, we're getting closer to completing our Nolan uh, run. So in fact, uh, the rest of my Nolan Ryan tops player era cards are actually at his foundation. So hopefully we'll have uh, those four back soon. But 1983 tops just like the Dawson. So adding a couple of uh, 83 tops to our Hall of Fame collection. And uh, also got 1985 tops, Nolan back. So happy to add Nolan's uh, 83 and 85 tops to our collection. If you're not familiar with Nolan's foundation, they do a great job, um, put a, a nice authentic or authentication label there. And they always do a good job of finding a place that they're not gonna bother on the back of a card. Um, here's that 83 top, so put it at the top. Sometimes you get those JSA stickers and they just slap them on there. But All right, last big one, and it's a doozy. Uh, this is our 1982 Topps traded Cal Ripken Jr. He uh, did a signing. I had this, uh, this was a PSA 5 card. Um, I did take a video of how I, I broke it out of that slab that uh, I need to post. Um, just in case it's something you ever are interested in doing. I thought the card looked great. Um, it's, you know, like I said, it was given a PSA 5. I didn't see any uh, tremendous issues or problems um, with it. Although, you know, it's older and it may have some surface issues or something that are a little bit harder to tell. But uh, I broke it out of that PSA 5. You can get a PSA 5 or 6, just look for a good looking one. For a little bit uh, less ex expensive, and um, obviously you can, you know, increase the value significantly sending it to Cal. So this was a um, private signing. Uh, you do see the, the authentication sticker. Um, I think, I can't remember who he's with now. Maybe Fanatics, I'm not sure. But uh, just a beautiful card. And anyways, top, prog, Tops Project 2020 really enhanced this card. I think the value of it. Um, I think it brought it to a lot more people's attention. And so um, I'm happy to add this one to the collection. Uh, I've got his 82 uh, card out, his base card out uh, for another uh, private signing. But uh, at any rate, I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll try to uh, get some more. We've got some more cards to show off here in the, the short term. And hope everyone has a good one. And we will see you later.